six days of shows in a 10 day window. It is my birthday, March 27th. I am now a 34 year old trapped in like a 22 year old frame, I feel like. Back in my day, they were $12.50 when I used to go. In this day and age, scent candle, $26.95. Happy Friday! This is actually going into Randy's spring break for work and because he's a teacher. <laughs> I feel like I need to tell you that because most workplaces do not have spring break. But is going into spring break next week, which means I have so much more time ahead of me, hopefully, to get stuff done, which I am trying not to bank on necessarily because I know that we're going to probably be doing a lot of stuff outside too since it's starting to get warmer, which, um, by the way, he told me yesterday, I should have just looked at myself, he was like, it's going to get in the 60s tomorrow so you can take um, Asher out for a run, and so I had planned it. Uh, not to go to the Y because on Fridays I can only go in the morning for child watch because they don't have afternoon child watch and so that's to be planned because you only have a short amount like win window to drive there work out while their watch is open and it had already passed the window and I'm like getting dressed ready to go for a run and I, I'm really cold and I'm like this doesn't feel right and I looked at the weather it's 30 something degrees outside so and I even looked I'm like the warmest it's gonna get is like mid 40s like what was he looking at because i'm not taking that child out in, in this weather right now um so we're not working out today and that's okay because i'm getting so much stuff done so what i was saying is spring break is this week i have a lot of prep to do still for my like i said six days of shows in a 10 day window um and i have a lot of blanks that need embroidered and I haven't done a DTF print yet. I'm just focusing on like what I can do here with my machine as much as we've been fighting. Uh, but today I have done five of my mama shirts and we haven't ruined a single one. So we're vibing today. It's great news. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do more than five. I kind of feel like since I'm on a roll, I should just keep going now that we're not in a fight. But um, at the same time, it's like every sweatshirt takes an hour to do. So if you do the math here, it's it like just turned one. Um, <coughs> we got up at 6.30 today, so I've been embroidering since 7. <laughs> it's obviously like that's six hour window. Um, it takes an hour to do plus some because I'm still doing like the hooping, the cutting, the... Um, I have a single thread machine. I'm like doing the thread. So technically it takes a little more than an hour for each sweater. That's why I don't like embroidery. It just takes so much time, so much time. But it's so nice. Like I like, I like embroidery. I like the way <laughs> it looks and everything. I know I'm still coughing. Um, I swear I'm doing better. It's just like I do feel like I need to make a doctor appointment just to make sure there's still white blood cells uh, fighting in there. <laughs> they have to be because I'm alive. We do have an order to pack up. I didn't show it, but I had to deconstruct some of my beads that I had made in my, I've shown you guys this before, my like tissue box filled with little beads that I've been creating. And I'm turning these like this week, I'm going to start turning them into bookmarks and Stanley charms. Um, but I was using all the beads that I thought I didn't have stuff to use them for. And I was wrong on one of the colors because I used all of them and I need these tiny little like turquoise blue beads for my star Stanley charms which are like selling I usually on average get one sale a day at least one sale every other day of these star charms I don't know why like that's the one that's popping off um, I like it like obviously I made it but like how is that the only one and it's because I keep doing these packing videos and it's like 
only that one I'm showing and so people keep buying just that one so I'm gonna need to like really <laughs> up my game I'm really terrible at creating uh, content for the chunky bee that's not like content that I'm already doing you know like I'm I'm I have to pack up an order so I'm gonna police officer just went by real quick oh no there's a school right there I hope that's not what they were going to what was I saying uh, I just got totally sidetracked oh so I'm always doing these packing videos because I have to do them because obviously I have to like ship them out so I do content around stuff I'm already doing I need to get better at doing content that's like trending or different so like I think I'm going by the time I have this up I will have already done it but I'm gonna start doing like top sellers this week or top sellers at my market um, which that one will obviously be different things so I just new ways of showing products that aren't the ones that people are buying because those are just like it's getting so repetitive so I apologize if you're someone that watches TikTok or shorts um, you're probably like she does like the same ASMR packaging star <laughs> charm video all the time it's, it's feeling like ghost cups all over again all that to say I have two charms made I only had to deconstruct one of my little bits which is great so we're gonna pack this one up for Melissa I still need to put the Stanley chain on it speaking of which I ordered more and I have no idea where they are <laughs> I also ordered more lobster clasps because I told you guys that the last order like literally a third of the uh, Stanley charm chains came um, defective so I've been working on slowly like switching out the clasps but I ordered uh, more lobster clasps and they are not here so where are my orders I also ordered a new rug for my um, 10 by 10 setups and I have a rug and you've seen it it's just not the right color scheme for my table anymore because I have that really pretty uh, table like cloth tool it's see-through with flowers like bright flowers all over it and so my rug was like more pastel it didn't look good um, and so I wanted a green one because the tablecloth had like um, one of the main colors for the leaves are dark green so I found this real this is such a cute rug <laughs> if any of you need an indoor rug not an out not a market rug this is not that I'm returning it because um, it's so soft and fluffy and it would get destroyed it's washable it is but it's not you don't want a fluffy soft rug for your market so I'm returning this sadly I don't have like it just doesn't fit the vibe of my house <coughs> or like any of her rooms uh, so yeah that's why I'm returning it it has nothing to do with like the rug it, it's a really nice rug and it was only $35 and it's a five by six so um, five by eight four by six five by eight I don't remember four by six to five by eight it's one of those two sizes and um, oh I guess it does say it on here no it does not it, okay. anyhow I found a cute like 60s style outdoor rug that is in my cart now I just need to return this have that money back in my account and then I'll get the other one um, where you could just like actually hose it down and it's clean again so that's that <laughs> I need to set this out so I remember to return it. I finally found new straws that are going to actually like be what I need to like reorder. I found, I showed you guys the straws before because I said I was having a hard time finding the right like size to fit in the lids that I have now and which is, I ended up needing an eight millimeter straw uh, width and most of them come in 10 millimeters and I had found some but they came in variety packs where I, it was like either everything was too long or everything was too small or only half of them worked you know it was like a like a goldilocks too big too little uh so i finally found some that are all the same size and they're all the right size the only weird thing is like i couldn't find any clear glass ones but i did 
I need a nine inch, so specific. Um, I found some that are black, like transparent black, transparent pink, and transparent green. Such a weird combination of like what they offered, <laughs> but it is what it is. And honestly, it will look good with all my cups for sure. So I'm, I'm fine with that. It's just until I could find just plain clear ones. I do think people will like the colors. I just wish I could have a clear option too. I need to make an order for new. I need a design. So like I love my my coping skill cups, but so my distracted one has a really cute little uh airplane like paper airplane which makes such sense with the word distracted. But my ink just doesn't have anything, so I kind of think I want to put some daisies or something or strawberries or something around i'm thinking maybe strawberries just because hopefully fingers crossed still i'm gonna get into the strawberry festival i've not heard anything so but uh i need to make an order for cups on that all right for the rest of the day we are going to probably just do the packing video and then work on constructing some of those beads for bookmarks that's the plan so i will see you guys talking again who knows when but enjoy the music i'm gonna try to come up with new music i've been using youtube's creator like their beta music program um and then i also have thematic the i think it's hello thematic it's owned by ipsy am i making this up i don't think so um both of them are free so and i'm not like i know thematic has an upgrade program you could spend money on but it's just I don't think the music right now is bad enough for me to want to <laughs> so enjoy what free music I have <laughs> see ya Oh no, okay, it's good. <laughs> it says finish embroidering and it has a green light. That means we're good. I don't, I think I just have PTSD from this machine being such a jerk to me. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've done six so far. So, so proud. So proud. If you can tell, it's getting more full. None of those are done. Like, those are all blanks on the right hand side. So, don't look at this with these two. Um, do you like how I'm pointing with my my broken cat slippers? <laughs> Let me put you guys on the tripod. Warmth update. It feels so much better in here already. Um, don't mind the mess, though. I just got done packing up two orders. Like, literally, as I sat down to do Melissa's order, um, and Melissa bought the star one. 
I got a notification from Etsy saying someone bought, and by someone, Marie bought my uh, strawberry one, which is my first uh, online strawberry sale. Like I said, I had one strawberry sale at the market from that man. Um, I say man, he was younger than me. Uh, so that's my second one ever. I think what I want to do, because I haven't, I mean, I actually never do this, but I feel like because the strawberries are kind of like bottom heavy, I might want to do a, um, uh, what do you, what am I trying to say? Um, a uh, hit test, like a, I want to put it on a tumbler and just like be really violent with it so that I can just confirm that they're going to be sturdy enough for someone that isn't going to be delicate or even normal with their tumbler, you know? Like I'm not, I feel like I'm not delicate with a lot of things, so I just want to make sure it can <coughs> really withstand a lot of metal contact. That's what I'm looking for. Um, just so like... I don't have any beads that are like that heavy and like when it's on a tumbler you want it like little beads you're not as worried about but like the, that one's a pretty like hefty bead so yeah I want to test that out uh but I think like I've had it on my tumbler I just haven't like really like hit it so hopefully that's okay that kind of stuff just makes me nervous I also am wearing, I love these earrings so much. They're so comfortable and just like the perfect weight. I got them from the market at the Ryan Guys Brewery and I know for sure. I got it before the market started because like I said, in my head, I was like, this is going to go great. Uh, <laughs> I know if I would have waited to get them after the market, I just wouldn't have gotten them because I would have been like, you can't spend money because you didn't make a ton of money, you know? So I'm glad I got them beforehand because otherwise I for sure would have talked myself out of them. But they're very nice. I have them linked. The girl that made them, um, I'll have them linked in my market video. So if you love them, go check her out because I really like it. I like the simplicity. And like I said, the weight's perfect. And they're uh, hypoallergenic and my ears are sensitive. So. I am going to, I usually just wrap one piece of tape around these. Where did my tape go? Oh, it's back here. Just to make sure that they are not going to burst open for some reason. Uh, I would never not put tape on them, but I never show, I usually don't show myself putting tape on them in my packing videos. So some of you might be like, it seems a little risque just having a sticker on there holding it shut no i promise there's more <laughs> there's an, uh, at least one thing of tape going around but you don't need more than one because you just don't <laughs> also a little nervous for marie's package because she put the address in weird on etsy and then she didn't put a last name, so no, hopefully it makes it to her safely. She's in Arizona, and Melissa is in North Carolina, and she has a really pretty street address. I'm obviously not going to share it with you guys, but it's really pretty. Like, I can imagine that street's adorable. And oh my goodness, I shouldn't do this because it's not like... I'm gonna get myself some kind of disease. Let's pretend I have a nose ring. <laughs> what do we think of this? Let me pause. Hey guys, what's up? This is Brittany. That's never how I, <laughs> that's never how I start a video. Uh, would you guys, that's, I don't hate it. I love it, but I don't hate it. I used to have a nose ring. I actually got it pierced like three times and it kept closing up and then I was like, okay, this is annoying. I'm trying not to cut myself because again, ow, 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 ow. It's dumb, dumb, <laughs> just dumb moves. Okay, and we're going to do it one more time. Over here. I had, um, I always had just a clear, like, not a clear, like a diamond stud in. Do you like this pimple that's like a monster on my face? Um, 
I don't know. I don't hate this. Should I get a nose ring again? Hmm. I just don't know. Like, it was ripped out all the time. Like, two times? Three times? Two or three. I got it done two or three times. Um, but it's ripped out each time. And then I just immediately closed. And I'm a baby and didn't, like, push it through hard enough. Um, as if that was actually going to be less painful than getting it pierced again. Like, the things you don't them but um yeah no I don't I don't hate this I don't think I'll get one though okay um that's enough I oh I forgot to show you guys I got some I'm probably just gonna leave this in for Randy and like he will for sure think it's real I finished doing those um, build your own charm bar bookmarks so what I'm doing is I'm going to have it like everything pretty much fully built other than the charm. So literally you're just picking out a charm and then I'm putting it on at the shows. So there's like 10 done. They're adorable. And I'm going to have to make a ton more. But probably not that many because I can make these at the show as they sell if they sell. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, and I still have a ton more. I didn't realize how many of... The little bits I had already made so that's exciting and I'll probably be back on here tomorrow to film more stuff so like I said it is prep week we're prepping so much this week all right I'm gonna go and let me know what you think of my nose rings <laughs> bye So far, so good. <laughs> okay, I feel better. That's. <laughs> test done uh there's only so much area it has to hit and you're normally just gonna be hitting like this you know you're not gonna be slamming it like I was <laughs> all right and now I'm leaving <laughs> I am now a 34 year old trapped in like a 22 year old brain. I feel like it still feels, I still remember Taylor Swift coming out with her I'm feeling 22 song when I was 22 because Taylor and I are the same age. She's a few months older than me, so when she comes out with music that has like her age in it, it always very much resonates with me. And I swear, I still feel like the same person that was singing the I'm feeling 22. That's not how it went, but you know what I mean. I'm at 34. I'm old. I do feel older. Like, my body feels older. I, last night, all of a sudden my vision just stopped working well. And everything was, like, super blurry. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, like... <laughs> This is why I've had glasses since first grade, but then for some reason in eighth grade, I was like, I can see perfectly fine. I don't need them anymore. And the reason for that is I got contacts, um, which then by like sophomore year of high school, I'm like, I'm so bored of 
or not really bored, lazy to put contacts in. I'm like, my vision's like fine. I see fine. Uh, and then yesterday, all of a sudden I couldn't. Like, I think that's the turning point of like, I don't see great anymore. Like, in my opinion. I know when I was, a, I think the last time I went to the eye doctor, I was in college still. And I had a 1.7, a positive 1.75 in my right eye and an astigmatism. And then I think it was positive 1.5 in my left. So I know for sure I'm probably in the twos at this point. But I, I don't know, I just need to set up an appointment and get some glasses. The only thing is, like, I hate, because I get bad acne when I wear glasses. It's so stupid, but hopefully at this point I wouldn't get that acne anymore. We'll see. I need to pull out, I have, like, five pairs of glasses that are really old, but I know they'll make me see better than what I am right now. Um, anyhow, yes, it is my birthday. I did get my Starbucks birthday drink, so this was free. I got the lavender matcha, uh... I think that's just what they call it, lavender ice matcha latte. So delicious. I did not get my chai tea latte because this is like a limited edition, I'm pretty sure. So I always like to gobble these up while they have them. And when I go, I rarely go. And then we went to the mall because I thought I had a $10 off GNC coupon. And I did, but she told me as I was checking out, um... The lady that's always there she's really sweet she's like just to let you know like um they kind of trick you with these coupons you like have to buy something and then they'll send you a ten dollar off coupon after the fact so like it's just stupid but so now i have a ten dollar coupon to hopefully use at some point but i know it's gonna expire because like I can usually go a few months with what I buy at GNC before I need to go in again um and then we went to Bath and Body Works because my mom gave me some coupons, so I got a free body care item. We just got Randy a soap, and then we got new candles. I'll go ahead and give you guys a haul. I used every coupon they gave me. Um, $3 hand soap. Great. We have a sink downstairs that I always forget to put hand soap down there, so that's where this is going. Um, and then Randy just bought a new sink, so like it'll be nice. And then candles are buy one get one free. Did you know they went up in price? Yeah, they're. Do you guys remember they used to be? <laughs> back in my day, they were twelve dollars and fifty cents when I used to go. Like the first time I ever bought a candle, that's how much it was just for one. And then and when you had sales, uh, they were only like between six and eight dollars. Okay, so now in this day and age, same candle, twenty six ninety five. $26.95 and not only that like they have candles that go up to 32 something I don't know what the candle is like I didn't bother going and like looking for the $32 candle but it's in there somewhere because like on their display it says candles $26.95 to 32 something uh yeah that's so annoying that's so annoying how can they go from $12.50 to $26.50 Make that make sense. Same candle. Okay, vanilla bean. Anyways, we're in October. Buy one, get one free. So essentially, it is $12.50 ish again. Um, <laughs> vanilla bean. Oh, so good. Very, very like nostalgic. Bath and Body Works, like the vanilla bean lotion. Like, I do think in junior high, if it wasn't Amber Romance lotion that I was using from Victoria's Secret, it was vanilla bean for Bath and Body Works. And then I also picked up the cinnamon spice vanilla, which reminds me of their cinnamon sugar donut candle. I think it's the same one. It is. Um, so yeah. And then I had a 25% off coupon. So I ended up getting everything. Oh, I didn't, I didn't show you. Randy already took it. He got a bar of, uh, just like a bar of soap in the scent bourbon. And that was free. But I got... All of it for $24 and something cents after tax because I had that 25% off coupon. So overall it was a good deal. But it would have been just like 15 years ago, probably half that price for a full bag. I miss those days. Anyways, um, we also got a ton of embroidery done the other day. I think I had 12 of my mama shirts made so good. 
I'm glad I did not give up on them because I finally got them to work. And then like at one point, and I had, didn't have this filmed, my machine messed up again. Yeah, and I do think it was my machine this time. Like I went through all of the user errors that could have been um, and it was not. And then I just had to take the machine apart. Like I'd never even taken one of the pieces off that I took off. And then I just started like touching things and I put it back together and then it was working again. So like I still don't understand what had happened, but she's happy again. So that means I'm happy. And I also got a ton of my bookmarks done. I got 12 of my little strawberry guys. I got 12 of my Stanley charms done. And then I got started on a ton of my build your own bookmark bar, which is going to be fun. Speaking of that, I have an order from, so bead wise, I get beads from Hobby Lobby and Joann's and Amazon and Timu and I just ordered my first batch from Shein. I don't know why it is but it's almost always Shein. I haven't looked at them yet and Timu have the prettiest beads. It's strange but that is what I've seen so far so um, I don't know exactly why that is but they are definitely prettier and like qual like I don't I feel like some of them a lot of them are like even better quality than what I see at Hobby Lobby and Joanne's but they're probably all coming from the same place technically I have gotten a few beads from Timo that I have not liked but for the most part I've really liked them so let's go ahead and open up the Shein package and see hopefully get some good ones what I'm struggling right now with is I have a ton of charms coming in for my build your own charm uh, bookmark but I'm loving them so much where I'm like, I don't want this to be a build your own. I want it to be like a collection that I have and I can sell. Um, cause I'm not selling the charms that I use in my like sale collection, like what I make, uh, because that would kind of counter it. Like I want people to buy what I make without building the same one. You know, does that make sense? Am I like saying that uh, right? But yeah, so I'm getting these beads in to use specifically for the people to pick and like create their own bookmark, but I like them too much. So hopefully I can give up some because right now we're... I've like given up none. <laughs> it's a really big box. Hey, <laughs> I need to get a chair and put this down. For my birthday, we actually went to goat yoga. <laughs> over the weekend so I will if I video put it in here uh, very fun it, everyone was like was it relaxing no it was not relaxing it was just fun for the goats to like jump on you and stuff Randy actually has bruises on his back and like scratches from the goats I didn't I wore a thick enough uh, sweater where it didn't matter but I think he was in a pretty thin like long sleeve it was fun though and it was cute and then we went to first watch which is like my favorite place to go food wise yeah, that was my birthday. So today's just like, even though it's my birthday today, it's kind of just like a normal day. I've been getting a lot of work done. We did, but we did go to like Bath and Body Works and GNC and then Starbucks. So like, it's special still. All right. Anyways, um, Shein. I got a mix of stuff for my markets and then for myself because I think I told you guys, I... I bought these really ugly green slippers, but they're so stretched out now that I keep slipping through them. And it's becoming quite a hazard on my stairs down to the basement, which I already feel like I'm going to get seriously hurt, even in normal shoes that aren't too big. So I got a pair of these. These were like five bucks, I think. They're just slippers. They fit. I put them on already. The white sole on the bottom is very important because we have white floors and black soles do uh leave marks so we got this i'm happy with these i think they're cuter and they're comfy i can't randy started pulling stuff out of here because uh, he was like i thought you just bought uh our son's shoes and i was like no i didn't i never said that i never said that um i got market stuff so this looks like it might be broken let's see okay so it's supposed to be a mushroom 
for my display. I am doing a charm bar and the theme of it is like a bar and jewels. So I wanted to get some like fun stuff and you'll see I get in a second here some drinkware. Like this disco ball cup, like it's just gonna be for decor. She's so cute, like it's gonna be really fun. Um, and then for me, I saw this dress and I was like, this is so cute. And everyone on the reviews were saying it was really cute on. And their photos look good too. It looks uh, a little strange. I guess I'll have to do a try on for you guys in a few minutes. It looks like it should be for a pregnant person. I do believe they had a pregnant option in this. It's very asymmetrical if you're wondering why the sleeves look like this. Okay, we'll have to try that on because I'm not convinced yet. I need new PJs because mine are falling apart and it's just strange. And my one of my favorite pairs to wear is from Shein and it was only $7. And all these were between $5 and I think the most expensive was $11 and it was this one. So this is just a, a long sleeve, teal, pinstriped satin PJ set. I would have loved to have Skims PJs, but oh my goodness, that'd be like $140 to get them. And these look really comfy. I just got a size large in those. She's in a dusty blue and again, silky. I think every single one I got was silky. These look kind of small. These, it's a large. See, their sizing's just strange. I'll have to try that on. That does not... That don't look like it might not fit my hip. I like my PJs to be oversized, and that's why I got a large in everything. That one feels a little different. I'm sure after I wash it, it'll feel better, but it kind of feels like a sticky, <laughs> like a sticky material. Again, that looks small. I hope they fit, dang. Like that's not, this is not a large. It's the size of my head. Ugh, no, there's no way I'm putting... Ugh. I'll try it on for you guys, but that's going to be ugh. disappointing. Maybe I should. I don't think I read the reviews on those. That's, that is a big mistake. When you were on Shein, you have to read the reviews and look at photos to judge what size you want to get. So for that green dress, they had these in their best sellers. And so I picked them up. They're just a pretty green. That's going to look really cute. I don't have much luck with Shein shoes though because I always get the wrong size. And then I got some plastic bar champagne flutes um, because I want to stick. I'm hoping it works, but I don't want to stick my bookmarks in them so they're like dangling out adorably. Okay, I got a set of these little hearts and they're little trays i'm gonna have the charms in so these are gonna be at the charm bar with the charms for people to like pick out for their stanley charms their bookmarks and their necklaces and i think i might even use them for people to use when they're picking their charms up and bringing them to me to like put on that looks great and that matches my table uh cover perfectly a disco ball to hang up in my tent. So it's just gonna hang above and it comes in this little uh, macrame-esque hanging thing. So it's gonna be so adorable. Do you like this party vibe I'm bringing? I didn't show you guys either by new. So I returned that checkerboard um, rug and I got in this like grass looking flower like 70s style rug i'll show it to you guys um either in the photo of like the amazon listing or when i use it which is in like a week from now oh these are big mama did not do a good job at getting the right size that is not fitting a almost two-year-old there is no way at all what size did i get these are big, these would probably would fit my like eight year old niece. They're really cute though. Dang it. Ugh, Randy's gonna be mad at me. That's okay. We'll save those for another day. The rest is just a ton of beads. I don't even know how to show you this. I do have some more little trays that I'm gonna be putting the 
like bookmarks on on display so like you can just pick it up while you're looking at the charms it'll all make sense when I actually have <laughs> everything on the table uh, they're very heavy this is good quality I'm just gonna show you guys these because they would just take forever if I did one by one you can see all of these beads there's so many in here wish me luck on like actually putting some of them into my charm bar because I already see some that I just want to keep um all right all right all right so that is everything these look the exact same packaging as Timu like I'm pretty positive they're coming from the same place I'm gonna start sorting this stuff so I think I'm gonna end it here so that I can get a few more things done before Asher wakes up and I'll probably take him on a walk and just like relax the rest of the night. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. It makes my day. Leave a comment. Tell me how your day is going. What markets you have coming up, if any. And um, I'll see you guys. Bye. I just need to clear my mind.